Hi, I'm Tom Lever. In this video on Little YOLO version 4 and how Darknet and YOLO version 4 CNNs work, I would like to walk you through setting up the beginnings of your own Little YOLO version 4. Here is part one, and here is in main for Little YOLO version 4. I'd first like to load up my system environment variables. Let's start with OpenCV Deer. You may need this for later methods in Little YOLO version 4 for loading images and displaying images. Also in the system path, we have copencv430 slash build slash 64 bit slash vc15 slash bin. You may also need this. I would recommend setting those up and restarting your computer and then rebuilding your solution. I guess I'd start with your solution first and then add only if you need. Going to Visual Studio, let's create a new project. I'm using the CUDA 11 runtime. It's a default template. And let's create little YOLO version 4 for all of you viewers. Okay, so here is a default CUDA C++ file. This is an example. I'm going to first eliminate all of the content of this CUDA C++ program and set up our basic hello world program. Also, I will rename this CUDA C++ file and change its type. So I'm actually not sure if this is a C C++ compiler file, but I'm going to start by changing the extension to C++ and let's also change the name to Little YOLO version 4 for viewers to match the solution. That's my style. And because it's a CUDA C++ file still, I guess that's fine. Let's give it a shot. We see hello world. Just because I'm a purist, I'm going to delete this completely and add a new C++ file 
that is little yellow version four, four viewers. Here we are again. Let's check the type on this. Yeah, it's a C, C++ compiler file. And then running it, hello world is output. So we are set up on this front. Before proceeding to add run detector, let's add various project properties. So here are some input arguments. I'm going to copy these over. So this is uh, your typical argument set for running darknet to detect objects and images. We're still relying on coco.data, the YOLO version 4 configuration file, the YOLO version 4 weights file, and dog.jpg. We'll actually work with these arguments later. Here in the Visual C++ properties section, let's add the path to the OpenCV include directory and let's add the path to the OpenCV library directory. Scrolling through more properties. I believe that the last properties to add are a reference to OpenCV world 430.lib. So a library dependency and a reference to the QDNM library, which you would install through instructions on NVIDIA's website if you have a GPU. I would highly suggest getting yourself a GPU, even a cheap one, with I believe a compute capability greater than seven, uh, because little YOLO version four relies exclusively on GPU computa computation and OpenCV computation. Okay. So just to make sure that everything is still working, yes. So that's your setup. Now let's just create run detector. So we don't need our standard input output inclusion anymore. And let's have our main method pass its argument count and its pointer to a memory buffer containing pointers representing strings. Okay. 
the IntelliSense for this C++ solution is obviously complaining because run detector is not defined. So let's go to run detector. You don't need all of this text yet. And hopefully in future videos, I will actually minimize this text, but this is the minimal amount of text you need to run test detector and to follow the same program architecture as darknet. But I don't think all of these input parameters are actually necessary. Again, we're just focusing on creating run detector for the moment. So let's add a run detector header file for the declaration of run detector. And let's start with an inclusion guard. So if the run detector preprocessor directive uh, variable <laughs> is not defined, define it. And close that if statement. Then within this inclusion guard, let's just state that we're declaring run detector. It returns null pointer, I suppose. No, it returns nothing. And It takes argument count from int main and takes a pointer to a buffer containing pointers to strings. That's all you need for the declaration and the run detector header file. And then let's create a run detector source file. And this just begins with a restatement of the function and its input parameters. That's all we need for now. And then to use it, let's include run detector the header file. And just to know that it's working correctly. Let's include the standard input output library here. And print using run detector. Hopefully this will work. It sure worked. So I'm going to get rid of STDIO and that printf statement. And in the next video, we can work on how run detector works. <laughs>